Super Bowl! I hate football so much in the way it makes me feel. But now as the Super Bowl approaches, we need to take a little bit of perspective. Perennial losers like the Lions almost made it to the Super Bowl. They've never been before. They seem to be on the right track. The Bills, throughout my entire adult life, missed the playoffs. Now, we lose in heartbreaking fashion in the playoffs each year. That's progress. But progress comes with such pain, and joy is so elusive and so fleeting. What are we searching for? Does winning heal? The 49ers are playing the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl. We're gonna combine the culinary masterpiece of rice a from San Francisco with Kansas City barbecue. It's the Super Bowl! Who cares if you're happy about it or you're sad about it? We're together. That's something. rice a the San Francisco treat. Mixed with barbecue. A barbecue rice a That sounds delicious. That sounds like the perfect meal to wash away all of the sorrow. Because chances are you're not a fan of either of these teams. 49ers. Chiefs. rice a Barbecue. The Super Bowl. If the Chiefs win the Super Bowl this year, they shouldn't dump Gatorade on Andy Reid's head. Instead, they should dump this barbecue sauce. You can of course go buy barbecue sauce from the store, Mr. Moneybags, but I'm trying to make my own sauce, Kansas City style. To start, I'm gonna go absolutely buck. Instead of chopping this onion with a knife, I'm gonna grate it so it incorporates better. And while you're making a mess, go ahead and mince some garlic. If there are any doctors watching, please tell me what's wrong with my hand. It hurts. Why is my finger doing this? Please help me. That's enough prep. Let's get to the stove. Into a lightly oiled pot, dump in those grated onions and let them become translucent. Kansas City barbecue sauce tends to be a bit sweeter and thicker than other sauces. So with that in mind, buckle up because I'm about to add a ton of ingredients. Minced garlic, chili powder, pepper, salt, ketchup, tomato sauce, lemon juice, molasses, honey, yellow mustard, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, tamarind paste, and Worcestershire sauce. So actually, yeah, maybe just buy barbecue sauce from the store, unless you happen to have all that in your cupboard. So, just to run down play by play. Right, right. Sports. First, we're gonna we're gonna line up to the line of scrimmage, okay? And we're gonna I don't know any other football stuff. That was good though. That, that was good. good. You, you're and and, and and you're Josh Allen. Uh huh. Uh huh. So you're you're the star of the show. Okay. I don't know how to tie this into cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do it. So we're gonna start by chopping the. Oh, it's already chopped. Asking someone to chop the onions for you. Um. In the NFL. <laughs> What is that? The the trainers stretching my legs and you yeah, know yeah, making yeah. everything ready to go. You know, like it's mise en place. Okay. Why is this here? What's, the, what's I've going been on? I'm playing here? with it. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh oh oh! We could use it. It's not meant to be. It was, it was a football thing for when you when you improvise. Yeah. It's <laughs> audible. Oh, we're calling oh. it audible here, and we have to break up this rice vermicelli. Ooh. This is a type of noodle that is made of rice. So we need to crunch this up. <laughs> And I'm thinking, so it doesn't go wrong. Ooh, delightful. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it's good thing you've got safety goggles on. Yeah. This is very comical to watch. It's just exploding every wow. time you do it. Okay. Oh, 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 you can't go fast. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, chop it under a towel. Ooh, chop it under a towel. That's kind of risque. I oh like that. God. Shrouded in mystery. Ooh, oh, like, like I'm hiding my sin. Yeah, like you're hiding your sin. Oh. 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 I'll hold it so it doesn't get underneath. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> This, oh, what's going on under here? <laughs> this took a turn. Ooh, I devilish. Like <laughs> Only we get to see. Only we get to see. All right, all right. Oh, you want to chop some girl? Sure. Yeah. We could crush it. What about crushing it? Yeah, totally. Well, let's crush it. Football. Football. We're gonna 
sack. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna sack this garlic. All right, let's play some offense here. For the Super Bowl, I'm gonna try to be as jock <laughs> as I possibly can. Should I cram them all in there jock style or just one at a time? <laughs> it's your game, baby. I called it jock style, so you're gonna have to QB. do it. So now, yep, so now use the back of the knife to scrape that off. Uh, rice aroni is, in and of itself, a pilaf. As I understand, the way to make the gourmet version of rice aroni is we toast the rice, mm. add the garlic and the onion right at the end to let those toast a little bit, and then hit it with stock and let it cook. We ordered some barbecue because we didn't feel like making it because this is about snacks for the game, not about spending 14 hours outdoors with nothing but your thoughts. And I think we can chop it up, crisp it up, and then top it with the pilaf. It's almost like a fried rice, but we're not frying the rice. It's very complicated what we're doing. We don't expect you to, to understand everything that we do here on Football Fusion. Sometimes it's, it's, it's like a good movie that leaves you wondering what just Ooh. happened. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. rice aroni the San Francisco treat. The real San Francisco treat is, of course, Brock Purdy. Did you see him cry after the NFC Championship game when he saw his mom? Mmm, I love that. I'm tossing in some diced onions and letting those suckers saute just for a few minutes. Then add your rice and vermicelli noodles. Andrew informed me that you should treat your spatula like a blade. Instead of just pushing the rice and noodles around, you should really get in there and flip things over so they get evenly toasted. Look at that. Ooh. Oh. Once you start seeing some color on your rice and noodles, toss in some garlic and mix that in. Don't be boring. Season your food. Salt, pepper, and some turmeric for that classic rice aroni color. And now for the wet stuff. Dump in a big heaping load of chicken stock. Let this come to a simmer and then reduce the heat and cover it with a lid. I feel like I'm in San Francisco already. Why is rice aroni the San Francisco treat? Did you find that out in your journey? I'm gonna read from the Wikipedia page. In 1958, Vince invented rice aroni. He was the apple of the Di Domenico's eye. He was the, the, the um, uh, Patrick Mahomes. In 1958, Vince invented rice aroni by adding a dry chicken soup mix to rice and macaroni. He was drunk and <laughs> uh, it was introduced in 1958 in the northwestern United States. That's right where San Francisco is. Because of its origins, it was called the San Francisco treat, loosely based on the Levantine pilaf dish, Riz Bisharia. Riz. 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 What do we got? Tell me what this is. Burnt ends, yep. pulled pork, and that's brisket. brisket. We ordered this from a restaurant, which we implore you to do uh, if you're just making snacks yeah, for the boys. Quick snacks for the boys. If you're trying to impress the in-laws, you better smoke this yourself. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna be, that ring is gonna be a lot heavier on the trip home. Sawyer's wearing my wedding ring. What? What, what the f what? What, why, why, what's happened, when? I forgot mine and I didn't want people to talk. <laughs> you mean to say you take it off? I was showering and I was like really soapy. Ooh. And you know that feeling where you're like, oh, and I took it off and forgot it. I appreciate that you put on a you know, you put guys have the same maze. ring size. That's, I know, weird, it's right? Crazy. It's very yeah. romantic, actually. Yeah, it makes me feel Can I try it on? It's not gonna yeah. fit. I have some more hands than you, I bet. I don't think so. <gasps> oh, it fits like a glove. Sisterhood of the Traveling Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut. No cut, why cut? No cut. Oh, cut that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's that the first time that's ever happened? I know. Where <laughs> you confuse cutting cut. with cutting. I guess nobody's ever asked me cut. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did a great job. No, you all, did all jokes good. aside. Are all of these bite size? <laughs> <laughs> this is good. You should eat some of this. Mmm. Mm. Always eat what you're chopping. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good rule of thumb. You always want to eat what you're chopping. All right. All right. So we. Uh, I want the peel up to sit a little bit longer, uh, and then we can fry this up and put the whole thing together and eat it in one bite. Hell yeah. We'll be right back after more Football Fusion. Ooh. Before more, more Football Fusion. Ad break. This is my favorite type of cooking. Heating things up in a skillet that have already been cooked. And before you yell at me because this isn't real cooking, look at this. I'm chopping scallions. Nothing fake about that. Basically, you just want to get that meat hot and crispy so it's ready to eat. You can have some fun with this part. It's theater. Get used oh, to it. You're uncomfortable Jocks. with a little bit of theater. I'm sorry, uh, sports nerds, you, you big, strong 
idiots. We're, 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 we're soft. We're guys who do theater. We do theater. We did musicals in high school. Yes, we did. You might not know this, but Sawyer and I did musicals in high school. Hard ones, too. Into the Woods. Into the Woods. He was the baker, one of the main lead title roles. I was the sexually deviant wolf. Nailed it. Let's plate this up. It's time. I'm going to throw down a good defensive pilaf, and then you are going to bring the offense. And that's, that's the way the game is played. Oh, that, it smells good. It smells damn good. I, 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 we didn't add MSG, and I didn't mm. taste it for seasoning. Mm. You know what? <laughs> that's good. I need salt, though. I'm glad I did that. Mm. So dramatically, too. Mm -hmm. And must not forget the MSG. Barbecue on top. Barbecue on top. Always a lot on the ground. One small piece on the ground. Almost ate it. Not gonna do that. You want sauce or you want, or you want an onion? Um, I'll sauce. Sauce. Give us, a, give us a flourish. Give us something, something cool. Yeah. We're on the one yard line here, folks. San Francisco and Kansas City, eat up. You starving bastards. <laughs> You're on San Francisco, Kansas City. You're all skin and bones. Come on, eat a little bit. Football. Football. Mmm. This is how you eat a big bowl of rice. Mmm. You're in a big game. Everybody gets a fork. Come on, dive in. Good luck mm. if you got a fork. It's great. I like the tamarind. Yeah, the tamarind really is a tam. Tam right? Right. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Somebody didn't cut these small enough. <laughs> Sorry. Show's over. Great season. Great season. Great football. Great fusion. Great food. Come here, man. Season two. Ooh.